Hello there, this is T Mac from www.wildfortheoutdoors.com, and uh, I'm here today to do a little cooking segment out here in my shop. And I'm going to be cooking one of my favorites it's deer fajitas. Uh, I don't know what it is about Mexican food and deer meat that goes together so well, but it works. Now, the other day, I went ahead and got my meat cut up. It's just part of the hind quarter. And I cut up a large onion, a large bell pepper into slices, and put that in a bowl with my meat, put in half a lemon and half a lime sliced up in there, and mix it in with just some fajita seasoning. They have it at the store there. And uh, you get that all mixed up and you let that set and marinate for a couple days. And uh, what you'll have is this when you're done. Woo, buddy. There it all is, marinated together. You want to keep that juice in there, too, because uh, you got to have a lot of juice when you're cooking these uh, fajitas. I like to have, like, a gravy at the bottom. But that's all that is. I uh, got that all sliced up in there. I think I even put a clove of garlic in there. Knowing me, I probably did. A couple cloves. So that's all been marinating on stuff for about two days. And a little shortening in your pan here. Just a little bit. Don't need a whole lot. Alright, so I throw, I throw an onion in here. It's kind of bubbling a little bit. Uh, with fire heat, you know, it builds up and it cools down and it builds up and it cools down. But... It works really good for frying, so uh, I got that where I think the temperature is just about right. Take your meat you made. Now you don't want these. Uh, you don't want to keep these in uh, these lemon and lime. You don't want to cook that in there. That uh, outside edge has got a little bit of a bitter taste to it. I learned that the hard way when Farrell Frank brought me some. Alright, so, got everything in there bubbling a little bit, temperature's getting good. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it all up in a pile. I got me a little aluminum pan here I use for cooking out here. I'm just going to cover it all up. Kind of steam it right in there. What that's going to do is it's going to allow all them juices and all that seasoning just to stay in there and circulate and just uh, steam it into this tender, awesome mix. Now she's a rocking and a rolling. I'm all about setting it and forgetting it. I just went in the house and had me a cup of coffee while this was working. And I'll tell you what, it looks good. I'm going to take that pan cover off. And uh, let some of that liquid evaporate out of there. Oh, man. What do you think of that? Oh, if you could smell that right now, smell a vision. My whole shop just, ugh. I got these flour tortillas. You can get them anywhere. What I'm going to do is give me a couple of them and put them in that pan I just took off of there. Just set them right there beside of it. Let them start getting warm. Oh man, that looks good. 
All right, I let my fire go down a little bit. I got this bowl here. I brought them out in. I went and washed it. I'm going to put them right back in here. First, I'm going to have one. <laughs> These things look good. Tortillas are nice and warm. Oh man. Oh. Tell you what old Feral Frank showed me about putting that lemon and that lime in there. And that acid breaks down the meat just a little bit more. You don't want to use tenderloin when you're doing this or vent, you know, the back strap. This will tenderize your meat enough. You go to putting that extra tender back strap in there and you could have problems. It could get too tender. Then it has kind of a gummy flavor. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, get out there, get you some venison. And I'm telling you what, if you ain't using an iron skillet, I've got iron skillets in the house, iron skillets out here. They are the perfect non stick cooking ware. All the things we have nowadays are just a mockery of what they used in the old days. Because what they use in the old days, it lasts forever, and it makes everything taste just a little bit better. I'll see you next time. Special thanks to www.ikesoutdoors.com, your go-to for product and bow reviews. Red Feather Archery, home of the Talon. Visit them at www.redfeatherarcheryonline.com for all your broadhead needs.